In this video, you will learn about the new EVM compatible layer 2 for Bitcoin. Yes, for Bitcoin. You probably have heard of Stacks or maybe Lightning is more familiar. However, we have something different today. It's a very new layer 2. It is built on ICP protocol, that's Internet Computer Protocol. And I will tell you a bit more about that later. It promises 1000 and more TPS. So the idea is that you will be able to do all the smart contracts, all the ordinals and all the Bitcoin stuff, but also bridge it with EVM and also do it kind of in a very uh, fast and scalable way. So sounds very good, maybe too good to be true, and let's figure out how it works. Layer 2 is a very common in the Ethereum world, so all the zero-knowledge rollups, optimistic rollups, so like Arbitrum Optimism, and I have a bunch of videos about ZKVMs, so you can go check them out if you would like. But here we are dealing with something completely different. The technology that is used here is a threshold cryptographic scheme called Chain Key. This Chain Key allows to bridge Bitcoin and Ethereum in a decentralized way, so it is kind of a bridge that also brings along with it the Layer 2 functionality that includes EVM compatibility. So what is this chain key threshold thingy? Um, so this scheme allows uh, multiple nodes to be involved in the network and they are all needed for the signing of the transactions. So instead of private key being on one person, the private key is distributed among multiple nodes and multiple nodes have to agree on the transaction to proceed in order for the transaction to proceed though. In Bitfinity, this chain key is regenerated every 11 minutes. So every 11 minutes, some complex cryptography math is happening, moon math, so to say, and the new key is formed. And this dynamism is very important because it is ensuring the security of the whole network. And this whole thing, Bitfinity as a layer 2, is built on ICP, as I mentioned in the beginning. ICP is Internet Computer Protocol, that is basically the cryptocurrency that's trying to create Web3 in its purest form. It allows you to create websites, uh, digital assets, any kind of, I don't know, media that is uh, decentralized and is stored uh, in a decentralized way. So you can think of ICP as a huge decentralized cloud. So the competitors in the web 2 would be like Amazon server provider or Google Cloud, and we have ICP on around that level. ICP has been out there for a very long time, since 2018, and it's also backed by very notable investors such as Anderson Horvitz and Polychain Capital, and it's built by Definity Foundation. And speaking of the investors and the foundations, let's have a look at the recent funding round that Bitfinity collected. So yeah, we had the foundation that built ICP called Definity, and we have the foundation, I mean, not the foundation, the name or itself of Bitfinity. So there's uh, two different separate things. So let's go with the funding round. The funding round announced on the 11th of January, so very recently, two weeks ago, as when I'm filming this video is January the 24th. And um, the valuation at which it collected the funding round it was $130 million. And it collected $5.5 million in this funding round with participation from Polychain, Butterfly Capital, A16Z, Definity Ecosystem Fund, and others. They already had a seed round previously, so the total funding of the project um, goes up to $7 million at this moment. Um, and right now, what can you do there? What can you do to probably get some portion of those $7 million? Because if we have a look at the tokenomics of the project, and based on the tokenomics, there is something interesting to look at. So there is a whole page if you go just to here and uh, bumps. Most of the stuff that's listed here is practically community stuff because community treasury dies in the name, governance DAO in the DAO. If you participate in the DAO, you usually get tokens for your proposals. Um, then long-term incentives are likely also developer incentives, as I assume, and also ecosystem uh, developer incentives, especially. Um, then growth is very similar to all the other things, to be honest. I'm not sure how these are separate. Then seed round is quite a big percentage, actually, in comparison to other projects, and 16% and for grants, growth, and locked liquidity, which I guess is for market makers and so on. 
So that's an interesting tokenomics to look out for and keep in mind when you know that there are galaxy campaigns that Bitfinity is hosting. So there are a bunch of those, I just uh, went through them and all of them, like, like there are five or maybe a few more that are all related to social media related tasks um, of their partners and of the Bitfinity itself to just follow them on Twitter, go to Discord, get some roles on Discord. And I was done in like 15 minutes to do all of them. It's very easy and I recommend you to go check that out. I will leave some referral links to Discord and to Galaxy campaigns. You don't have to use my referral links. You can go and uh, check them out on Google yourself, but it, you would probably help me and my channel a little bit by using the referral link. There is also a guild. So they are for hosting a guild XYZ slash Bitfinity and you just need to be a Galaxy Quester and a member. And this is supposedly was giving you a role. Apart from the social tasks, you're welcome to go check out their website. So get started the right way. Newer Bridge. Newer Bridge is a, just a swap from ICP to Bit, um, Bitfinity. And um, at the moment, it is not working. It's again, uh, January the 24th. This is just out there, like you can see it, but it won't be able to work properly, at least not yet. And um, also in here, there is a Bitfinity ecosystem that you can check out to see what other dApps are launching here. And if you are a developer and you can develop something on Bitfinity, and Bitfinity, again, is EVM compatible, so you can develop in Solidity. So you're welcome to go check out and submit your own project on here. And again, um, Bitfinity Block Explorer works. It's not really something you probably want to see at the moment. Um, and the faucet works. So if you want to go check out the faucet, I don't know, play around with it, it also is okay. You can mint some random tokens there. So if you just go ecosystem and you go to faucet. And there are a bunch of tokens already that are from the ecosystem tabs. And that's all I have for you about Bitfinity. I hope you found this video useful or at least fun to watch. And if so, please leave this video a like or subscribe and that would really help the channel. Again, all the links in the description as usual. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next one.